What is going on guys? Welcome to your 26th Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial we're finally going to finish up this stupid sprite and actually watch it move around the screen. So before I get started with this tutorial I just want to vent to you guys a little bit because I just got back from downtown Raleigh where I had an appointment and I actually had to park my car in some weird place to make sure I got to my appointment on time because I couldn't find a parking spot. And when I came out I uh, forgot where I parked it because I'm not familiar with downtown Raleigh so I had to walk around downtown Raleigh for about an hour and a half up and down every street until I found my car and uh, yeah it was pretty annoying but now that I am done venting I will finish this tutorial so let's go ahead and make the method update because remember we're getting error up here it says create method update alright you talked me into it update um, sprites positioning and all this is going to do is check if the spray is off the screen and if it goes off the screen it's gonna put it back on the screen now let's go ahead and name public void update and long time passed and we only use this time passed one time in the final update so that's pretty cool so now that before we start building this method I need to tell you guys about one thing now whenever we have any image we're working with the image is actually a box it's has a width and it has a height now there are a lot of pixels in the image so when you're testing what part of it goes off the screen Java only cares about the top left portion of that image so that would be zero zero of the image since it doesn't care about the bottom right top right it only cares whenever we're testing if this spray is off the screen it only is going to look at that top left portion of the image so that's a little thing that you want to keep in mind so and you'll see why this is useful later on but what we want to test first thing if the sprite well we want to test where it is if sprite dot get x which means its x value is less than zero which means if its leftmost side of the sprite is less than zero well zero is the leftmost leftmost part of your screen because remember top left is zero zero so if this your sprite is less than zero its x positioning it means it must be off to the left hand side off your screen somewhere so what do we want to do if it goes off your screen past zero like a negative five or negative ten that that's when this would be true but what we want to do is we want to set the speed because here's what must have happened if it got off the screen to your left somewhere then when it was going from right to left it must have just never stopped its speed or velocity and just kept going left so we want to just change the velocity to the same exact velocity but we want to go left to right instead of right to left so it stays in your viewing area so let's go ahead and put sprite dot set velocity of x because remember that's what we're checking right now and what we want to do is we want to get the absolute value because if you remember from math class absolute value is always positive no matter what so the absolute value of negative 10 is 10 the absolute value of 9 is 9 of negative 32 is 32 again it takes any number and makes it positive so math dot absolute value and in your absolute value just type sprite how fast you want it to go well just get the old velocity is before because that was good enough so what this pretty much does is if your sprite went off your screen to the left hand side it must have been going from right to left until it finally just went off into la la land so what this does is it just changes its velocity and reverses it so it goes back from left to right in this direction so we need to do this for um, the let's see the x and we need to do this for else if not else is come on Hoss else if sprite dot get x and we need to do plus sprite dot get width and remember the x is the top left portion of your image so if you have x plus the width it would be the right corner you get it and let me try to explain that uh, when we're done with this but in other words you're always whenever you do get x it says get me the top left or excuse me the left side of your image so if you have the left side plus the width it's there for the right side so um just think about it and i guess that's as best as i can explain it and then what do you need to do for this 
if this is greater than the screens dot screens dot get width right there what do we want to do so if this the right side of your image is greater than or we can put greater than or equal to it doesn't really matter the screen's width that means if the right side of your image surpasses or goes past the right side of your screen so therefore that part of the image is non-visible what do we want to do well we want to do the same thing so actually we can just go ahead and copy this we want to set its velocity but instead of having a positive velocity and this means left to right it's getting bigger and bigger we want to have a negative velocity so negative absolute value right there and let me see how much time I have left five minutes not bad so this pretty much says alright if the left side of your images or excuse me if the left side of your image goes off the screen to the left give it a positive velocity if the right side of your image or sprite goes off the right side of your screen then give it a negative velocity to keep it moving this way so now all we have to do is change this for y so just copy this whole thing and remind you need to do sprite get y is less than zero sprite set velocity y absolute value get velocity y also sprite get y get height because remember y is up and down so you're not testing for width anymore you're testing for height of your screen get height and set y and get y and let me make sure i didn't mess anything up and if i did i'll correct it later but all you need to do is this checks um, if it goes off the screen left and right and this checks if it goes off the screen up and down and if it does it corrects it accordingly so now the only thing we need to do is update the sprites position using sprite the update and remember this update sprite the update is the update in this class wherever we put it right there it updates the sprite position based on how much time has passed so let's go ahead and spray update and pass in time and unless we forgot a y or a height or anything this should work so I know you guys can't see it but let's go ahead and run this and I'll tell you guys what's happening yep my sprite is bouncing around my screen in all kinds of directions and when it hits one of the corners of my screen say it hit this top corner it bounces this way and when it hits this corner it bounces this way in this or excuse me side I mean not corner it bounces like this and as soon as it gets to the top left bottom or right sides of your screen it just bounces off and that's because it when it gets to the one of those sides of the screen and one of those sides of your image exceeds the inbounds um, portion it changes its velocity so you guys need to see it and once you see it I mean again I'm sorry that you guys can't see it on my screen recorder but that's just how it works once you guys see it for yourself and code this, you'll understand perfectly how this is working. But for now, I just want to thank you guys for uh, staying subscribed and thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure to check out my next tutorials where we will be going over some other cool stuff. But I am going to uh, probably go to school and go to McDonald's and eat like five double cheeseburgers. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.